What's up, Sun Rays? Welcome back to the channel. It's Ray. If you're new here, welcome. Today is another empties. I know. Anyway, I'm going through some stuff and I'm going to be talking about hair care, body and skin care, as well as a few household items. So hopefully you are interested and will stay tuned. I am going to start out with the body care and skin care items first. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first body care item that I used up was this Dove Cherry and Chia Milk Body Wash. It looks like this. And I think I mentioned this in another video saying that I have been using it and it smells so good. It smells so good. Oh, it smells so good, guys. And it felt good, it lathered well. I really enjoyed this particular Dove body wash, this cherry one, and I definitely would pick it up again if I saw it. Loved it, and it lasted a long time. I felt like I felt like it lasted a long time. I don't know if it's because I it lathered so well, I was using less or what, but I like it. I would repurchase if you haven't tried this cherry one. I would say cherry and chia milk. I would say give it a try good good um the next body care product that was used up was this uh, method men sandalwood and vetifer body wash got this for my son um and he liked it and then i re i purchased it for my husband and he used it up and i'm assuming he liked it he didn't say he didn't he didn't say you know go back to my regular body wash or anything like that guys it smells good it smells manly sandalwood and vetiver so it has a nice warmth to it but it just smells really good so yes I would repurchase this and um, I would try some other ones from method as well as far as how it lathers and stuff like that I don't know they didn't say but they said they liked it so I would repurchase it of course I didn't try it so I don't know how it lathers and stuff but that one was good the next body product that I used up was this uh, Crystal Waters Nourishing Butter Body Butter. If y'all remember this, one day I went to the Dollar Tree and ran into this body butter, and I said, "Oh, they got body butters. Let me pick it up and see." Um, the smell is not good. I would not repurchase this. The um, the way it rubbed in was horrible. There was no moisture. So I did not use it as a body butter. I ended up using it in the shower as a shaving cream. <laughs> I would just put this on my legs or whatever and go to town shaving. So yeah, just to get rid of it. But yeah, I guess for a dollar something, what do you expect? But hey, there's a lot of stuff at Dollar Tree that is good, but this body butter is not one of them. Don't go get it. I wouldn't, re I wouldn't recommend it. Next body product I used up were these Dove Sensitive Skin Body Bars. Y'all know I love Dove. Um, and these were okay. I wouldn't get these again because the scent is just, is just barely there in my opinion. So I do love bo Dove Body Bars, but I would go back to the ones I was using before. Uh, there's another white one that is not the sensitive skin. It has the dark lettering on it. I think it's just called the white bar or something like that. I would just use that one instead of this one. That's just me. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm saying I don't prefer it over the other one. So use up two of those or at least I was able to keep two boxes. I'll put it that way. A lot of stuff, a lot of times stuff just ends up in the trash and by that time it's like I'm not pulling it back out. These are the ones I remembered. Next body product I used up was this Bath and Body Works Together Weather Body Scrub. So it looks like this. Okay, so what I will say is I like the smell of the Together Weather. It is a very nice fall winter scent. It just smells really good to me. Um, let me see if they have the notes on here. The notes are Blushing Breeze, Sugared Cardamom, and soft cedar. Ooh. 
so yeah it smells really good um the problem is if you can see how i just bent up this thing trying to get the scrub out and if you look there's still some scrub in there i couldn't get it out i don't like the packaging so with that being said i won't buy any more uh, bath and body works body scrubs especially if they're in this packaging because it's just too hard to get out and um, that was a problem for me but the smell is good i bought this along with the body butter and the body butter is really good too i think i said in one of my vlogs that i used that body butter and topped it with the um mongerlan and got all kind of compliments and everything so those two uh, go really well together in my opinion but i wouldn't buy the body scrub i'm not going to go through all of that in the shower i mean i was trying to bend it to get all this out and i just couldn't so no i would not repurchase but this scent the together weather is good and i would repurchase this scent in the body um i don't know they may have a body wash i don't know but i would definitely get it in the body butter and i still have some left it's almost gone but i still have some left so yeah. next thing i used up next body product body product we used up was the soft soap exfoliating scrub this is the coconut butter scent. So saw this, it was on sale, picked it up, and guys, this smells so good. It's sweet. Oh, it just smells so good. To me, it says coconut butter scent, but to me, it has more than a coconut butter scent. Um, you know what it has a, seem like it might have some, vanilla mixed with the coconut if you look at it I don't know if you can see it in the camera but it has dark specks in it kind of like um, uh, vanilla bean ice cream if you've ever gotten vanilla bean ice cream the vanilla ice cream with the black specks in it from the vanilla bean that's what this kind of looks like and it smells so good uh, my husband is actually the one who used this up but I did try it and when I tried it, I was like, wow, that smells really good. So I would definitely pick this up again. Soft Scrub is pretty um, reasonably priced. And um, yeah, I would pick it up. Now the exfoliating, you can feel it a little bit, but it's not like a hard exfoliating um, or anything like that. But it was good. I would repurchase that. The next body care product that we used up or i used up is the key so care renewing body and hand wash i think i talked about this in a vlog as well i think i've picked talked about i had her face wash in a small one really liked it so i purchased it and got the big kit it had the face wash um the moisturizer and this in it and i said that i would use this more as a body wash over a hand wash because of how much it costs and the size and I think I would just it would last longer as a body wash because I would switch it in and out with other body washes change my mind I started using it as a hand wash um, it was okay as a body wash but it was this so when you push it down it takes a long time to come back up you push it down it takes a long time to come back up so if you have to and then a lot doesn't come out because as a hand wash they don't want a whole lot to come out so if you're trying to use it as your body, you're pumping and pumping and pumping and pumping and pumping and trying to get enough to even get on your loofah or your rag or whatever it is that you're using. And it was annoying in the shower. So I started using it as a hand wash and it was fine as a hand wash. Um, it just smells clean. Her, her, All her stuff has soft, clean, spa-like scents. So the smell is not bad, but would I repurchase it? um i probably wouldn't purchase purchase it as a hand cream i just feel like her stuff is kind of expensive for me just to be using it on my hands because i wash my hands a lot so i would go through these fast and that's just a lot of money and i definitely wouldn't repurchase it as a body wash because of this so with that said i wouldn't i wouldn't say it's bad somebody might like it and that may not be a problem for you but for me it is so with that being said i would not repurchase that okay so um next body not necessarily body but it has to do with the person um we used up the tom's whole care fluoride mouthwash this is in the fresh mint and this is a natural mouthwash and 
it was okay. Didn't taste all that great. It was okay. Glad it took us a long time to use it up because we got some other ones too. And I wouldn't repurchase it. I didn't like it enough. I wouldn't repurchase skincare. it. So now we're gonna move more into skincare. So the skincare item I used up was this drunk elephant protein. Anyway, it's a moisturizing cream. Some of the words are um, off of it, but this is what it looks like. I believe I got this in an Ipsy or um, I don't know. It may have been a, you know, maybe I picked it up with my points just to try it out from Sephora. So I don't, I don't remember where it came from, but it is empty. I used it up. Um, I wouldn't repurchase it just because um, it didn't wow me. I don't remember a lot about it. It didn't wow me. I don't have anything else from Drunk Elephant, so I'm not going to just pick this up. I actually had this up here the whole time. That's why I think it came in an Ipsy, because I would have it up here. And if for some reason I would wash my face in the shower and say I'm doing my hair or whatever, and I'm trying to get up here and get my hair done or whatever, and I don't uh, put on some moisturizer right away, then I had this up here and I would just take this and put it on before I put on my makeup or something. So I, that's how I used it. I wouldn't repurchase it. I can't say whether it's really good or really bad because I just didn't pay that much attention and I know it didn't wow me so I wouldn't repurchase it. Okay, so the next um, product is the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Eye Cream. It looks like this. It came in a little travel set. I liked the products. This one I didn't use all the way up and I used it a lot, but it's not all the way used up because I'm just gonna put it in my empties because it is kind of separating. So the cream, uh, there's water dripping out of the cream. It was just weird, so I'm just getting rid of that. And it was just okay. I didn't really see it do a whole lot for my eyes. It's an under eye cream. Okay, so now the other thing you guys are gonna be surprised about, cause I was surprised about, but I'm getting rid of these. They're not empty, but I'm getting rid of them. So this is the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Oil and Free Used Serum, the Deep Hydration Facial Toner with rose petals in it, and then the Rose Face Mask. Um, I bought these, I don't know, I think it was in 2022. I don't even think it was 2023. It could have been early 2023, but um, I did a haul and I bought these products. Um, I'll put it here. I bought some stuff from Sephora and then I bought some other stuff from Ulta. So it was around the uh, 21 Days of Beauty and all that stuff. Um, ooh, something's in my eye. So, and I got the Soy Face Wash from Fresh, which I like. So because I had tried the Soy Face Wash and liked it, I decided to pick up some other things so I can kind of have a skincare regimen because I was in the market of seeing what kind of skincare I liked. I know this is a long story, but I want to just kind of tell you. So anyway, um, when I first used it, uh, I was like, oh, I like these. My face looked bright and everything. And I think I even put a picture on my Instagram saying, wow, I like these. Um, well, I kept using them. And at the same time I bought these, I bought the Ordinary products too, if you remember. Um, and a couple, one, you know, a couple days I used this and then I said, you know what, let me break into this Ordinary because I want to see about that. And then I used the Ordinary and I was like, mm. and then I started getting some burning and I'm like, is that Ordinary burning me? Burning my skin, made my skin feel like it was burning. And I was like, hmm. So, in a recent video when I used up the Ordinary Cleanser, I think I said I wouldn't repurchase that because I didn't like how it made my face feel. Every once in a while I would get tingling and stuff like that. That is the case, but I think it had to do with these as well. So, Ordinary's gone, right? So I've still been using these here and there because I was using some of the Key Soul Care stuff. So every once in a while, I will go back to these. Um, and every time I will go back to these, my face will burn a little bit. And I think that's why what will happen is I'll use it and I'll get a little tingling. And then the next time I was like, I'm going to use something else. I don't want to use that. And I just, because I was trying to figure out, is this is this 
uh, irritating me. Come to find out, it's irritating me. So I have to get rid of these. I'm not gonna keep using them and irritating my face. So I just use these again just to make sure I put this on my face. The soy cleanser on my face, no problem with the soy cleanser. Then I went in with the um, toner and it felt a little cooling. Then I put the serum on and I was like, okay. Uh, and then I still have the moisturizer to the line. The moisturizer isn't that bad um, and it's almost gone. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, use it up. But when I went to put on an eye cream, it started burning. And I'm like, why is it burning? I said, this eye cream never burns me. I had used this before. So what happens is after I've used it, when I first put it on, I don't really feel anything. But then after it sits on there, I start getting irritated and my skin starts turning just a tad bit red. So I'm not gonna be using these anymore. And I was like, what am I allergic to? Is it the rose? So I think it's the rose in these products that I am, that's irritating me. The only other thing that I have been able to pick out in these products, um, and some of them is um, squalene, squalene. So squalene is also in the ordinary product. So then I was like, is it the squalene? Cause that burned too, uh, or irritated me a little bit. But now I'm thinking it's the rose. I'm thinking it's the rose because I haven't used that, but there is rose in here and a little bit of squalene. So I'm just gonna get rid of this. And here's the other reason why I think it's the rose. So if you guys remember when I did a, I think it was a nighttime routine and I was showing you me taking off my makeup and everything and what I use, I said I use the Thayer's Facial Toner, toner the Witch, Witch Hazel. I got a new one. I got this rose petal one. And you can see it's still full because when I would use this, it burned a little bit as well. At first it would just feel cool. And then once I tried to apply something on top of this, a moisturizer, my face would burn. So yeah, so I'm gonna get rid of all of these. And they're in my empties. They cost a lot of money to, well, these are not expen not cheap, but they're not worth me keep trying them and irritating my skin. So, yeah, guys, got to get rid of those. I'm still going to use the soy cleanser because the soy cleanser is, uh, it doesn't have rose in it. I don't have any issues with the cleanser. Um, it's just those products. So, I don't know. So, yeah. Hate to say it, but that's it now. That's not to say that all rose irritate me because I think I have used some other products with maybe rose extracts or something in them like further down on the list. Uh, Cause I had looked at some other stuff and they don't irritate me, but, but all these, the rose is kinda, you know, it's a lot of it and the whole set back to back to back. Ooh, ooh, tear me up. So getting rid of those. So that's the skincare. Oh, one more thing for body. So the last thing that I used up in the body is the clean towels, the extra large, um, empty. I do have some in my acrylic case that you saw, but it's getting low too. So I am going to have to order some more, but yeah, I would definitely repurchase these. Okay, sorry guys, that wasn't the last thing. So another body product that I used up was the L'Oreal infallible black brown eyeliner which looks like this has a little you know smut uh oh smudging tip on the bottom of it used it up liked it i like to use brown eyeliner i feel like it's not as harsh sometimes black black eyeliner on me can look really harsh in my opinion so i use brown um i like this um eyeliner and yes i would pick it up again. I won't have to do it anytime soon because I have other black uh, eyeliners, but I definitely do like it. And then the, and then now last but not least is I used up the Belief uh, Moisturizing Cream, the Aqua Bomb. So I used it up and it just, 
it don't really smell like much um it's okay too i feel the same way about this one as i did about the drunk elephant a lot of people talk this up i used it again up here when i just you know needed to put something on my face real quick if my face was feeling dry because i don't have anything else from belief it moisturized it did it stand out to me no would i purchase it i got this in a sample or you know in an ipsy or something i don't know but or maybe with my points at sephora i might have got it just to try it out but it it didn't stand out so unless i try some more of their products i don't know that i would repurchase this that's just me that's just me okay now i think that's it now let's move on to hair care okay so the first thing i used up was the camille rose Algae Renew Deep Conditioner. You guys know I love this deep conditioner. Uh, and I got everything out of this one. Uh, it, sometimes I'll have little bits left, but um, if y'all remember, my one of my subscribers got me these little scrapers. Shoot, so I can get everything out. Smells good. It smells like it's cocoa and mango butter deep conditioning mask but it just smells real sweet and gourmand it has little dark specks in it as well and i like it it's just a nice balancing deep conditioner it really makes my hair feel moisturized and supple and soft uh, and i love that about it so i definitely would repurchase it next thing i used up was the aunt jackie's ice curls glossy curly jelly i think you guys saw me use this up the last time i uh, used it with the wash and go i think i did a side by side and i only had a little bit left i think i just took the little bit and mixed it with what did i do with that did i mix it with another jar i don't know but it's gone i love this gel I love this gel. I would definitely repurchase it. I would definitely recommend it. Sometimes it's hard to find. Um, you may have to get it off the Aunt Jackie site because sometimes it is hard to find. You can definitely find the other one, the Boss Curl or whatever at Sally's, but this one is kind of hard to find. You can definitely find it on Amazon as well. I always try to link it in my description box so you guys can get your hands on it if you need to. But yeah, I definitely would repurchase this. Guys, My I need to change my battery. So if I don't get this exactly lined up, that's why. Hold on one second. Hopefully it's the same. Okay, so the next thing I used up was the Design Essentials Almond and Avocado Wash Day Deep Moisture Mask. Guys, this is another one that I think people sleep on. This is a really good mask from Design Essentials. You don't hear a lot of people talking about it, but the few people that had I have seen talk about it like it. Sorry guys, had to fix that. I think that's better. Anyway, a few people that I have seen talk about it like it. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this mask. Again, this is one that has a lot of slip it is um i believe it's protein free so you know if you're worried about that i believe this one is protein free and you can definitely detangle with this and it just makes the hair feel really good afterwards it's not going to give you the same feeling as the Cam camille rose lj renew that one gives you a nice uh, plump supple feeling you can feel you know something on the hair this gives you a more hydrated feeling so this one rinses out cleaner and you just feel your hair but the hair feels hydrated and happy so um, it doesn't feel weighed down it doesn't feel like anything is just layered on it but it's really good and the moisture lasts in my opinion so i definitely would repurchase this next thing i used up was the strands of faith holy grail um intense deep conditioning treatment you guys know that i just talked about that because i just um, did a strands of faith review and um i said i was not really impressed with this deep conditioner i didn't feel like it had um a lot of slip i didn't feel like it 
penetrated my hair. It left a coating behind, so I wouldn't repurchase this. That's just my opinion and what I like for my hair. Um, and I consider it kind of a thinner deep conditioner, but it just it just didn't do what I needed it to do. So yeah, I wouldn't repurchase that. Uh, the next thing that's in my empties is this uh, Strands of Faith Styling Custard, which looks like this. And the only reason why it's in my empties is because it's old. I tried it a long time ago, but I did recently revisit it with a new jar. And I'll put that video here if you haven't seen it. I got a pretty good wash and go out of it. So I definitely want to re try this product. So I would have to wait till I retry it for with some other things to tell you if I would repurchase or not. But right now this one's in my empties. Um, next thing is this Main Choice Pearly Braid Out Glaze. It is not used up because it's old. I just talked about it in a video uh, recently too. I'll put it there. I do have another one, opened up a new one and did a wash and go with it. I have repurchased this many times. I like it. It gives me a nice, soft, uh, fluffy wash and go, but I definitely get hold. I don't get any crunch and it lets it gives my hair big hair um, on day one that i love and so i would repurchase um i would repurchase this so but this one is bad so that's why it's in the empties next hair product i used up was allocate naturals lemongrass holded styling gel you guys know that i just went through um, a series doing harder holding gels for you guys and this is one of the ones that i used yeah this is a good gel if you like a hard hold if you want seven days or more this is the gel for you it has better ingredients than an eco or a wet line or whatever um but it is going to give you the hold that you want and i have repurchased this many times you guys you can go on my channel and see that i used to talk this up all the time especially when i liked you know very defined curls and not as much volume on day one. Now that I like more volume on day one, um, I won't repurchase this as much. I think I still have one left in my arsenal, one if not two. So I definitely will use those, but I won't be repurchasing this anytime soon because I like bigger hair. But definitely if I needed a hair uh, wash and go that's going to last me a long time. I'm going on vacation or whatever and don't want to do my hair. I definitely would pick this up and use it. So there you go. And last but not least for the hair products is the Suave Almond and Shea Butter Moisturizing Conditioner. My husband used this up. If you remember, I used to talk about the shampoo to this conditioner, how it was very moisturizing, had a lot of slip. He loved it. The, the shampoo and the conditioner is all he ever wanted to use um well got him to to try some other stuff so i'm not going to be buying this anymore i can't even really speak on the conditioner because i've never used it but he liked it so i'll say that and it's reasonably priced but i'm not going to be purchasing this anymore probably unless i can't find the uh suave coconut naturals coconut um I just talked about it. It's white. It's the Suave Naturals Tropical Coconut Shampoo. He got that of mine and he liked it as well. And it's a little bit less expensive. So I'll just buy that one for him versus this one. Um, so yeah. Probably won't hear me talk about the Almond and Shea one too much anymore. Okay, last but not least, I used up the Curls Blueberry Bliss Reparative leave-in conditioner i use this with the tropical moringa gel for wash and go and it's gone i already have another one of these on my shelf if you can see my blueberry bliss products okay wait a minute uh -oh. there we go right there um i would repurchase this i like it i like the curls blueberry line so i definitely would repurchase that so, okay, now that's the end of the hair products. So let's go ahead and talk about a few household items and then we're gonna be done. Okay, so the first one is this Nature Made Iron Vitamin C Gummies. This probably should have been with my body stuff, but um, I got these gummies 
just because I needed some iron and I didn't use them up but I wouldn't repurchase these because um, see how they just melted together and they were all sticky and everything so I'm like yeah I won't I won't be getting those anymore um, I'll just get regular iron tablets if need to also used up the McCormick's onion powder you guys know that I love onion powder and um, I prefer onion powder over onion salt I prefer garlic powder over garlic salt and things like that because those things can be heavy on the salt and if you're already salting your food or if your food um, already has some salt in it, maybe you're using some um, canned products that already come with sodium or you're using um, uh, like broths, chicken broths that already had come with sodium and stuff like that or some type of packet, then when I'm seasoning, I want to try to season with as less salt as possible. I do use Lowry seasoning salt. So with that being said, I don't want salt in my onion powder and my garlic powder. So I go for onion powder and garlic powder. So I use that up. Also used up the Dawn 50% less scrubbing. Easy squeeze. People were talking about this and I was like, what's, what's so good about this over just the regular Dawn, uh -oh, over just the regular dish soap that you turn upside down and squeeze. Um, nothing really, but this is nice. I will say it's nice. You keep it like this, so it's all going down and you know, you just squeeze that what you need and when you stop squeezing it, it clogs up, you know, it stops. Because I was like, if it's upside down, I don't want this all over my, it does not leak. It does not leak, so I like it because those other ones, once they get low, you gotta turn them upside down anyway, trying to get all of that out, um, unless you put water in it or whatever, but this one stays upside down. It sits like this, so. I mean, some people could sit it like that, but I sit it like this and it doesn't leak. So I definitely would repurchase this again. I don't know if you guys have tried it or not, but I did. So I would, um, I liked it and I would repurchase it. Next thing I used up was the Soft Soap Fresh Breeze uh, Hand Wash. I actually got these off of Amazon. It was like a six pack and um, I don't know, they were okay. Um, it was something about them. It seemed like they just didn't want to lather real well for some reason. So that could have been why they're sold on Amazon. Probably a mix. You know, sometimes stuff will have defects in it or don't work quite as good as the, the real deal. And they'll sell that kind of stuff on Amazon. So that may have been what happened with these. Uh, it was okay. Whatever. Um, next thing we used up was the Excedrin Migraine. So guys, this is what my husband and I use when we get headaches. We don't mess around with the Tylenol. Now, do I keep that on hand? Yes, I do. Um, it's always good to have some Tylenol on hand and some type of ibuprofen. So I keep that on hand as well. But when it go, comes to my headache or his headache and we want to get rid of it like that, we use Excedrin Migraine. And our headaches are not migraines, but you talking about taking this your headache is gone in 20 minutes and you can finish doing whatever it is you got to do here you go so yes use those up and i would repurchase and we already have repurchased uh next thing i used up was the leaves hand wash from uh bath and body works and it smelled okay it wasn't my favorite but it's a nice fall scent fall winter scent or whatever so I had this in my kitchen and used it um, I probably wouldn't purchase this scent again um, I probably would just purchase something else but it wasn't bad I like their foaming hand soaps so with that being said I would maybe purchase their foaming hand soaps again if I found them on sale and, and just felt like it um, and was in need of it but yeah I don't know if I would get this particular scent again. So guys, I think that's it. I think that's it for my empties. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you stayed around to the end. If you stayed around to the end, put me a sun emoji down in the comment section so I know you got all the way through to the end. Also, let us know in the comment section what some of your empties are that you're using up, if you've used any of these things that I've mentioned today and how you feel about them um, so people can hear your experience as well as mine. 
And guys, yes, that's it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.